Hi, in this series we're going to create a game using Unity 3D and modeling applications such as 3ds Max and Blender. What is Unity 3D? Unity 3D is a game development ecosystem that allows people like you and I to create awesome games with very little effort. One of the really cool things is that once you create your game, you can deploy to multiple platforms such as the iOS, Android, Xbox 360, PS3, the Wii, and many others. So we're going to start with the very basics. We're going to have a blank slate. We're going to get into modeling, lighting, scripting, and much more. So at the very end of this, we're going to have a game that you and I can both play. So I'm excited to get started, and I hope you are too. All right, let's jump right into it. So I have to assume that you already had downloaded and installed Unity 3D. It's free. It's not a trivial process. So once you have that, open up Unity, and you should notice a bunch of windows. So I have the view 2x3. You might see you know, the, the default view. Um, I just prefer to work this way. It seems to be a little more organized uh, uh, for me. We have the scene editor. So um, that's where your eyes are probably going to uh, uh, be attracted to first. Uh, because typically Unity 3D comes with a demo. In this version, the demo is Angry Bots. Uh, if you wanted to play around with it uh, on your phone, you can actually download it right from the App Store. Um, and I think it's also on the Android Marketplace as well. So uh, first thing you can do, uh, since you'll probably want to play around with this, uh, uh, this demo, you can right-click to rotate your view. You can use the scroll mouse to zoom in and out. And then you can also uh, pan by holding down that scroll button. If you wanted to play around with it, um, you can push the play button. That will allow you to play that. Move around a little bit. We'll pause that. Uh, but uh, I'll let you play around with that. But what we're going to do is we're going to start from scratch uh, in this tutorial. So we're just going to go to File, New Project. And I typically create a, um, a Unity folder for my Unity projects. So you can see um, I have a Unity folder. I'm going to do a WP demo, and then the actual project is going to be called Tanks. So we'll save that, create that project. Uh, don't save, I don't need to save uh, any changes we made to the demo. Alright, so we have a clean slate. So to talk more about these windows, uh, we have the scene editor, as mentioned, and the game window, where you can actually test your game. Uh, the hierarchy window is uh, to organize all the different uh, game objects that are within your scene. The project window is, is all the assets that are available to you um, that you can drag and drop into your hierarchy. And then the inspector. Um, the inspector is where you can manage the components and properties of those game objects. So once we throw in our first game object, uh, we'll play around with the inspector a little bit. Since we're creating a take game, we're going to need a tank. So we could create this in 3ds Max, a modeling uh, application created by Autodesk. But we're going to keep it simple for the first part of this, this tutorial series. And we're going to create that tank uh, game object right in Unity 3D. So we do that by going to Game Object, Create Other. And we'll start with a simple cube. Once we have that cube selected, you notice a couple components popped up in our uh, inspector. So this allows us to edit different properties of this cube. Up here you'll see in the top left we have the actions where you can pan, move, so I can move move the, uh, move the cube by grabbing these handles. We can rotate the cube and we can also change the scale of that cube. Uh, there's actually hotkeys for that or uh, keyboard shortcuts. So you can, uh, it's Q, W, E, and R. So you might see me switch through these different actions. Uh, without my mouse going up here, um, it's because I'm using those keyboard shortcuts. So definitely, those are something you're going to want to uh, become comfortable with. So we have our cube. Now let's start to make this look a little bit like a tank. So we're going to uh, select the scaling action. We're going to shrink this down a little bit. Uh, we'll rotate around. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer. And a little bit wider. Looks about right. We'll probably go a little bit taller, yeah. Good. I'm going to position this guy at uh, 0, 0, 0. So I'm just going to do this right in uh, the component properties here on the inspector. You obviously could do that just by moving around with this, but uh, this is a little bit easier. Now I'm going to add a, um, a cylinder. So the cylinder is going to be the wheels of my tank. So this is going to be a brilliant tank. It's I'm not a uh, designer, designer, mind you, but uh, this will definitely help you get a, a feel of 
of game objects in Unity 3D. And I think I think you'll agree it looks a little bit like a tank when we're done. So we're going to change the uh, width of this guy, and let's put the position at zero zero zero. And then let's scale it down a little bit. Uh, so we find the center of this guy. We just pull down. It should scale the entire thing. So it does need to be a little bit wider. So we pull this handle here. There we go. Good. I think I, I think I'm liking that. It's, all right. So let's let's create one more cylinder for the uh, top of the tank. I'm sure there's a terminology for that. I'm not a tank expert. We're going to go to create other and we're going to do a cylinder again. And this time we're still on the, uh, the transform tool here. So we're going to drag this up, move up, center this guy. I'm going to right click my mouse so I can go to the other side of this dude. Looks about center. Let's scale this a little bit wider. Yeah, looks pretty good. Now we need the uh, one more part and we should be all set. Create other. We're going to cube again. And I'm going to move this guy up. And I'm going to scale it so it's skinny. Oops. Skinny and long. Oops, I'm going to pan by clicking on my scroll wheel. And I'm going to move this guy closer. Look, I'm way off. Look at that. Way off. Let's go zero, zero, zero. I losing control of this guy. Zero, zero, zero. There we go. Now I can just pull this guy up and forward. How about that? Yeah, looking nice. Looking nice. Yeah, it looks like a tank, doesn't it? Like I said, I'm no designer, but I think that looks like a tank. All right, since we're going to be working a lot with the tank we created, let's take all the individual components and put them underneath a parent. To do that, we're going to create a uh, empty game object. So game object, create empty, and we'll rename that. I'm going to uh, right click rename tank. And then I will do is I can you know select all of these individual game objects. So I have the, the cube and the cylinder selected. But it's just easier just to highlight them all right here in the hierarchy then drag and drop under that new empty object we created. So now we have a parent. So you can see uh, we drop that down. We can see all the children of the parent, which is our tank. Or we can select the tank and uh, we can move all those individual components at once. So if I select the tank and move it on the x-axis, uh, it moves all the other uh, objects as well. So it makes it a lot easier to work with. So in our next tutorial, we're going to work a little bit with lighting. Thanks for watching and uh, look forward to working with you in the next tutorial.